Okay, so yesterday we talked about if one ordered pair was a solution to um, an in a linear inequality. Today we want to talk about systems of inequalities and to determine and what we need to do to determine if an ordered pair is a solution to that system. We're going to do what you did before. If I want to know if this ordered pair is a solution to the system of inequalities, plug it in, substitute. Remember that 7 stands for x and 5 stands for y, but instead of it just plugging it into one inequality, now because we have a system, we need to plug it into both, right? So I'm going to take my two inequalities. y is greater than or equal to x minus 3, and y is greater than negative x plus 2. Let's substitute in 7 for x and 5 for y and see if this order pairs a solution. I put 5 in right here, and I'm really questioning, is this true? And then 7 in right here. Let's simplify this. 7 minus 3 is 4. Is 5 greater than or equal to 4? Yeah, that works out. 5 is definitely greater than or equal to 4. Perfect. So now for the next one, um, y is greater than negative x plus 2. 5 goes in for y. 7 goes in for x. And let's simplify. We are questioning this. Is this true? Well, negative 7 plus 2 is a negative 5. Is 5 greater than negative 5? Yes. Perfect. So that's your work to support your answer. What is your answer, guys? Is 7, 5 in order a solution? Yes. 7, 5 is a solution. Okay, so let's try another one. Make sure you're copying these sample examples down onto your notes. Um, what about 8, negative 4? Check to see if 8, negative 4 is a solution to this system of inequalities. Y is less than or equal to negative 2x, and Y is greater than negative x plus 6. We take 8 for x and negative 4 for y and substitute it in. Let's try the first one. Y is less than or equal to negative 2x. Negative 4 is less than or equal to negative 2 times 8. And I'm questioning this. Is this true? Well, negative 2 times 8 is a negative 16. Is negative 4 less than or equal to negative 16? Be careful here. Think about this. Negative 4 is not less than. Remember that a number line. Negative 16 would be over here. Negative 4 would be over here. 0 is over here somewhere. Negative 16 is actually the smaller one. So is this true? No. Then right away, guys, if it fails one of the inequalities, you know that 8, negative 4 is not a solution. You don't even have to try the second one if it fails the first one. Now, this is just how we can check to see if one ordered pair is a solution of a system. A system of inequalities are going to have many solutions. So we're going to have to have a better approach to show all the answers, and that's what we're going to get into in today's lesson with graphing. Um, go ahead and try the next examples here. 